Hi friends, it's Mrs. Fisher back again today to check on you. Hope everybody's doing good and we've had a couple bad days in a row there, but it's nice out today and I hope you all get out for some fresh air because that's just what you need. And then you come inside and wash your hands. Wash your hands like crazy. Um, so what I wanted to do today with you was do our new letter of the week. We did P last week, so that means we're on Q this week. And I have a story to read for, to you and a craft. And we might even try writing your own letter Q because I'm sure you're able to do it. If you can draw a circle, which I know almost everybody can, then you can probably draw a Q. So I'm going to send your moms and dads the video link to Jack Hartman for his special song. And you can either watch that first or you can watch it second. And, and then I'm going to read you my story. So before I start my story, maybe you could tell me what the letter Q sounds like. Does anybody know? It sounds like qu, qu, qu. What's an animal that makes a qu, qu sound? Hmm. A duck says quack, quack. Well, I have a story about a queen who is shivering cold and she just wants something to keep her warm. And we're gonna take some guesses. What are some things that might keep her warm? Um, maybe you might think a coat or a blanket. Well, there's a special word. I'm not even gonna tell you the title of my story, but there's a special word that you're gonna find out in this story. And if you think of it, you tell your mom and dad. Okay, but my story is, I'm not gonna tell you the word at the end, but it's about a queen, okay? The queen lived in a beautiful palace with a lot of servants who always tried to make her smile. She usually did smile, but not today. Something was very wrong. So I'm reading it from my iPad, guys, because my hardcover of this story is at school. So I'm going to try and not get a glare there. But I wonder what was wrong with her. It was an ice cold day in the kingdom, and the queen sat on her throne, shivering and shaking. I'm so c -c -c cold, she said. Please bring me my qu qu qu. But she was so cold she couldn't finish her sentence. Hmm, so she's looking for something to keep her warm. What could it be? It's a letter Q word. I know, said the first servant. The queen wants her quill. A quill is a fancy word for a pen with a feather on it. Is that gonna keep her warm, a quill, a pen? So the servant ran to get the queen's quill. The queen shook her head. No, she said, I need my qu 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 qu. I know, said another servant. The queen said, quack, quickly, fetch a duck from the royal pond. When the queen saw the duck, she shook her head with a frown. Quack, quack, said the duck. No, the queen cried. I just want my qu 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 qu. I know, said the third servant. The queen wants her quiet. Shh, he called to everyone on the throne. Shh, everyone said. The queen began to get angry. She shivered and shook on her throne. No, she yelled. I want my Qua, 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 qua. So before I show you this picture, I want you to guess what's another word for a blanket and it keeps you really warm. You might have one on your bed. I'm gonna show you a picture. Can you guess what that is? It's a quilt. She wants her qua, 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 quilt. Oh, said the first servant. The queen does not want a quill, no. Ah, said the second servant, the queen does not want a quacking duck. No. Hmm, said the third servant, the queen does not want quiet. No. She wants her quilt, they all said together. The three servants rushed to bring the quilt to the queen. 
They covered her from neck to her toes. Finally, the queen stopped shivering and a smile spread across her face. The servants smiled at each other for they had finally made the queen smile. There she is. She's not sad anymore. She looks nice and cozy. And there's that letter Q. Story's all done. There's that letter Q. Let's see if we can make it together now. So, like I said before, we're just going to look at the uppercase Q. Whenever I give you a letter craft, what do we always do first? We put our finger up and we trace over what I wrote on the paper. So maybe your moms and dads can write you a letter Q. This week, I didn't write it with marker. I'm gonna hold up real close. With pencil, I just drew the letter Q on there because we're gonna put paint over it, if you have paint. If you don't have paint at home, you can just dab with a marker, if you have a marker. Or um, maybe you have dabbers at home. But here's my letter Q that I wrote in pencil. You can barely see it, but once we're done with our paint or markers, whatever you use, you'll be able to see it. So I'm gonna take my finger and trace over my letter Q. It's a circle. And then at the bottom, we put a big slash through it. So what I, I chose paint today, but it's gonna be really easy paint that I don't think you even need to get messy with. I have a Q-tip in here and I chose it because that begins with the letter Q. If you look on the patch packaging, if you have Q-tips at home, you might find the letter Q. Maybe you could go look for it. And I'm just gonna dip it in some paint and I'm gonna dab it all over just my pencil marks, just where the letter Q is. I'm gonna go dab, 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 dab. I'm gonna go all over really quick and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? And then I, you could do this at home too. Keep practicing your tracing while I do this with your finger. Okay, so now I think you'll be able to see my letter Q with Q-tips that I did. Pretty cool. All right, so that's one thing you can do at home. The other thing I did, I'm gonna see if I can show you. I'm working off my, my laptop here, but I turn it around and I have a bin of just, it's just like a cake bin with, I have quinoa in here, but I, you could use rice, dried rice. You could use, uh, if you have shaving cream at home, you could use shaving cream. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things. You could use. If you have sprinkles, you could do sprinkles. And all I'm gonna do is a really, really shallow, thin layer. I have a paintbrush, you could use your finger, you could use a marker, you could use whatever. We're just gonna practice letter cues on here. So I'm just gonna do my circle. Remember, if you can do a circle, you can do a Q with a slash at the bottom. I don't know if you can see very well there. But that's just a good way to practice writing your letter Q. Make a circle with a slash at the bottom. I don't wanna tilt it too much or all the quinoa is gonna go everywhere. <laughs> um, and then, hey, last step, guys, because you're getting pretty good at it, is just practice with a crown or a pencil or a marker of your own. Just do a circle with the slash at the bottom. See if you can do it. Mom and dad can help you. Okay guys, I hear Tara's coming. The last thing I want to do is something really silly for the end of this video today, because it's April 1st. April 1st is April Fool's Day. So I'm gonna show just my three and four year old friends. If moms and dads or brothers and sisters are in the room, say, go away. Mrs. Fisher's gonna teach us a trick to play on you. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds. Say, go away, guys. Just I'm gonna watch this part. I'll give a minute. All right. So what I did with Mr. Fisher, come here, Tad, you wanna say hi? Is, and I did with this with hi. my class last year. I said to my class last year while they were at recess, I said, guys, after recess, I have brownies for you as a treat. Yeah. And that made them really excited, right, Tara? You like brownies? Yeah. Well, when they came back up to the classroom after recess, at their table, they found... E. That's an E. What color is the E, Tara? Uh, orange. No, oh, it looks a little bit orange, but it's a brown E. A brownie. Yeah. Get it? So maybe you could cut... Well, I don't know if you can cut out a letter E. Maybe you could have mom or dad help you. Or you could even just write a letter E on brown paper. 
And then you could say, you could run up to mom and dad or brothers and sisters, whoever you want, and you can say, I made a brownie for you. Hide this behind your back, and when they say, ooh, okay, just show them. Say, here you go. <laughs> Why don't you go, go tell daddy you have a brownie for him. Go tell dad, daddy. I thought that was really a fun little idea you guys could do at home, okay? So keep hanging in there, keep playing, keep being a good boys and girls for mom and dad, and I'll check in with you later this week, okay, guys? All right, have fun.